One of the first things we can do, which makes life a bit easier, is just to cut off this castellated bit at the top to give us a nice flat section through our stem that we can use for measuring. Now that we've got a nice flat top to our stem, we can transfer some of the marks from lower down up onto the top so we can copy the angles we need. Now on the front of our stem we've got a half an inch. And our rebate line the line that we're taking our planks to is hopefully going to be five-eighths of an inch in from the after face. Which is there. So the angle we need to cut the lower section away to is that angle there. So we've got half an inch width on the front of our stem. Our rebate is going to come to here because that's going to end up being chiselled and shaved away like that for our plank to sit in there like that. So the angle we need our lower section to be finished at is that. Take an adjustable bevel and take that angle and turn it round and copy it onto the other side of your stem and make sure that it tells the same story. That's pretty good. So this is the angle we need to set our bandsaw table to. Good. So just lock that in position. I've taken a bit of care over this because one little mistake could jeopardise the whole um, piece of wood. We just want to be clear where we're cutting, where we're not cutting. What we want is this part of the stem to be cut at that angle, but as we come down to the water line, which is here, we really want this angle to change so that by the time we get back to here, where the, the scarf is, we've got a flat stem. Now, that's easiest done with a plane later. So what we'll do, when we get to here, our bandsaw blade will be coming through the stem at this point somewhere, all the way down to the water line, and then we'll just run it out to that point there, which will give us a flat stem and an angled section, and then we'll just plane that corner off 
to merge this flat shape here into the angled shape there. Now you just have to take care to make sure that the stem front is nice and flat on the bed of the bandsaw. We can just try on the top to make sure we got the angle right. Okay. We aren't going to cut exactly to our line. We're not going to cut exactly to our line. We're going to give us ourselves an eighth of an inch of wood to shave away because the blade does tend to wander a little bit. And the last thing we want to do is to come out past our line down there, the one that we can't see. with a good eighth of an inch to plane away. But that's giving us a good, saving us a good hour's planing. So I'll just do the other side. the stem shaped away on the bandsaw that just needs to go on the bench and get get planed up now planed down to the lines on the front back to this rebate line here finish up shaping up the top get that nice running that curve into there nicely fairing all this in down here so that we end up with a a changing shape from this angle to that flat there where it meets the keel. This is a sketch I made earlier, unfortunately it's the real thing's the other way around here. But this is our stem coming down. This one's been planed so this front edge here runs away to half an inch at the front, comes down here and then starts changing angle, staying flat, but changing angle to meet up with the keel, which is square, two inches wide with square sides here. That will get fared in. The scarf is there. And on this, this type of boat, 
the hog comes along and butts up against the end of the stem scarf. And then the dead wood or the stem knee, this is cut out of a, a piece of curved grain oak. This gets bolted through to reinforce this scarf joint and to strengthen the whole area up. And this comes down, runs on top of the stem, down through here and then on top of the hog. When we come to fit the planking, we've got the V groove that we routed into our stem, which is not completely accurate, but it's three quarters of the job done. We need to chisel away quite a bit more of the knee or the dead wood here. So we've got our plank that sits about that angle back here and by the time it runs up to the stem our garboard plank is almost vertical. So that's quite a change of angle both for the plank and for this rebate groove. So this hog needs to be planed away, the groove needs to be cut because we want our plank to sit flat against our hog so that when we put a copper nail and rivet through we're not going to split either the hog or the plank. So there's still quite a bit of work to be done there but once the moulds go up and set up on the keel we'll be able to put a batten round and get some idea of the run and the angles that we're talking about.